My name is Kerry Olson. I'm a professor and uh, chair of the Division of Head and Neck Surgery at the Mayo Clinic. Well, Mayo Clinic, our division and members of our division have been utilizing robotic surgery as a new tool to help us to treat patients with a wide variety of cancers. Primarily, we've been using the robot right now for cancers in the tonsil and base of the tongue. Another area that we thought would have good potential use is some of our patients who have cancers of what we call the superglottic larynx, the portion of the voice box above the vocal cords. And this was a study trying to look at our patients that we utilized the robot to remove their cancers and see if it was feasible from a complication standpoint, an outcome standpoint, and a functional standpoint. And we found that the robot was a very effective tool. It had really no major complications. Our patients still had very good function in terms of being able to swallow and talk. And our outcomes in terms of how they did regarding their cancer was equivalent to any of our other methods that we've utilized before. So we think the use of the robot is going to have an increase in use in the future for patients with cancers of not only the tonsil and tongue base, for which we use it very frequently today, but especially in the future for more cancers of what we refer to as the supraglottic larynx, the part of the voice box above the vocal cords. We always try to individualize the treatment of patients with supraglottic cancers at the Mayo Clinic. And by individualizing it, we say that some of the patients have their cancers that can best be treated by taking the tumor out through the mouth, some best taken out by making an incision in the neck. In almost all cases of supraglottic cancers, we're doing a combination, taking out the primary tumor and taking out where the cancer spreads into the neck. But I think the key message is that the robot is a new tool that we're finding is, is a little bit faster, has some advantages over some of our former techniques of utilizing just the laser alone or some of our former methods of taking it out through the mouth. So we think this is a, a new treatment modality that will be more effective for more patients in the future. Well, we're continuing to look at our patients and follow them for a longer period of time. We have to have longer follow-up and a larger series before we can say this is exactly equivalent to some of our prior methods, but our preliminary data right now on this first group of patients was very favorable.